Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get into GoGuardian and how to add a classroom to GoGuardian, as well as how to get your students to enroll in GoGuardian. So you're going to hit sign in up at the top, and then mine already logged me in, but you can log in from Google. And then to create a classroom, you're just going to click on this classrooms tab if it doesn't pop up for you, and then hit add classroom then you're going to type in uh, whatever you want to name your classroom. So I'm going to do Apex Block 4 because that's what I have coming up. You don't need to fill out the subject. If you want to fill out a description, you can. I'll show you how to do a scene in another video. My default scene is always no videos because this is a credit recovery class. And then you click Add Classroom. At this point, you need to get students in the classroom. So these are the three ways you can do it. You can either hit use code, in which case you will have your students go to this website right here. Um, I just project this on the screen and then they type in this code and that's one way. If any student doesn't use the code, maybe they're absent and I just wanna have everything done, I just look up at their student ID number on uh, Aries and then I type it in here and then add at SEHS Cougars and then hit add students. Um, this is for my stragglers, like nobody has time to individually add students in. So once again, my typical way to do this is to hit, um, you have the students enroll themselves using that code and then um, the other way to do it is to download the report from Aries. Um, the tricky part about this is when you get a CSV report from Aries, it gives you a million different pieces of information, but the only thing that uh, GoGuardian wants is their email addresses um, in one column. So you will be deleting all the other columns that you would download from GoGuardian, I mean from Aries. So you could do it that way if you want. There is a fourth way that's actually really cool. It's not popping up right now because when I'm in my classroom, we haven't started yet. But right here where it says pending over on the left, um, Aries and GoGuardian sync. And if you click on pending, you will end up having your different classrooms there which will you can accept the invite and that will automatically populate your classrooms so that's super cool because you don't have to worry about having projecting a code or anything like that but uh, sometimes it takes a while for those to get loaded at the beginning of the year and i especially in my credit recovery class love to have them on on day one so i'll choose one of the other methods so that's it for this video you've got your classes loaded in in the next video i'll go over how to set up a schedule and how to set up a scene so that you can either limit what websites your classes go to or um, only have one for them.